Justin Tibbetts here, financial advisor with Jazz Wealth. How you doing today? Good, good, good. Uh, look, every dollar has to count. That, that's it. We're reaching that point where the Fed is cutting interest rates or raising interest rates and they're cutting the monetary supply that's out there, right? So money's going to get tighter. Every dollar you have has got to count. And we were going to do a different video today, but it actually occurred to me uh, when Charlie walked in and asked for help. Uh, Charlie's our developer here at Jazz Wealth. It occurred to me that maybe people don't know this, and this could be an easy way for you to give up a few dollars when they're really going to start counting. I need you guys to start focusing on every single dollar now. So Charlie, uh, at an old job, had a 401k where they put an extra couple bucks in there after he left. It was $400. And he just got a check in the mail, just out of the blue. He's like, oh my God, they sent me this check. It's $400. What do I do? Just cash it and move on? No, because that is going to cost him the 10% penalty. He's a young guy. It's going to cost him income tax on that. And yeah, we're talking 60 bucks, 70 bucks in total between the penalty and the taxes. But again, we're, we're past that point in the last 10 years where, where we were able to be like, hey, I have 70 bucks for this and, you know, spending money like I know a lot of you have. It's time to tighten up. So Charlie says, what, what do I do? I don't want to pay tax. I don't want to pay the penalty. Well, if you get a check from your 401k, whether it's accidentally or you had under $1,000, um, here's what you do, right? And by the way, if you have less than $1,000 in your 401k, you leave your job, they're just going to send you a check anyways. Uh, that's about to go up to 2000 and so just be on the lookout for that. But a lot of times people just fill out paperwork, they do it wrong, the 401k company sends them the check, and you're like, holy cow, that's a lot of money. So here's what you do. Um, and if you're a client of us here at Jazz, we just do it for you, but for everybody else, this is what you do. You have to prove that it is not a new deposit if you want to put it in your IRA. So you're allowed to take a, a 401k check, even if it's made out to you, you're allowed to say, Put it in my IRA and count it as a rollover. I don't want it to be counted as a new deposit, but you have to prove that it's a rollover. And there's usually a form or something online that you have to fill out. And what you're essentially saying is, I attest that this is a 60-day indirect rollover. And that's the fancy way that they say it. So what happens is you mail that check in, even though it's not made out to your account, it's made out to you. You mail the check in, send it to the brokerage firm. The brokerage firm is going to look at the form that you filled out and go, they say this is a rollover. The date of the check is within 60 days. We'll accept it. And they'll put it in your account, counting it as a rollover, not a new deposit. So this won't go against your yearly deposit if you're contributing to your traditional IRA. Now, um, if you have an old 401k that you do get a check or you're rolling over a 401k and you accidentally say, send me a check versus roll it over directly, um, you still want to roll it over to a traditional IRA. There's almost no case where I see that it makes sense to go into a regular 401k. And it, that's you know, a lot of people think that those dollars that you roll over to a new 401k get the company match. That's not how it works. Only new dollars get the match. So you want to take control over your four, old 401k, put it in an IRA so it's in your name. You make decisions. If you want to take it out early, fine. If you want to pay for your kid's college, fine. If you want to buy a new house, rental property, whatever you want to do, you control that. The 401k company can't tell you not to. So that's it. Uh, basically just wanted to keep this one short today because it was a real life example. Charlie got $400 of a check. Do we cash it and move on, pay the penalties and taxes? Nope. Simple form. We'll fill it out for him. We'll put it into his traditional IRA that, of course, he has here with Jazz Wealth, right? He better. <laughs> so anyways, that's how it goes. And uh, I wish you a good rest of your day. We'll see you later on the closing beat, right? Adios. Hey, you made it to the end. That's awesome. Well, if you want to check out more geeky stuff, be sure to check out that video over there. Also, if you could subscribe, that really help us out. We're financial advisors that love to teach, and you'll find all kinds of free stuff on our videos. And remember, keep your dough straight. Yeah. I did it. You did, Allison. <laughs>